Hello and welcome to Bitcoin Smart Money. Today is December 14th, 2017. And with the recent run up in Bitcoin prices, the transaction backlog in the memory pool has just gotten so filled that transactions are now costing anywhere from 10 to $15 to send. So what I wanted to do is give you a life pro tip on how to save some money and how to also trade some altcoins using your Bitcoin or Ethereum or Litecoin. So best way to do it is going to be to log into your Coinbase account and from there uh, what you'll do is you can do this through Coinbase or Gemini. Uh, if you're doing larger dollar amounts I always recommend using Gemini uh, but for simplicity sake if you're new and you're just trying to get your feet wet and buy some some NEO or EOS uh, this is the best way to do it. So um, you'd go up to here to the buy sell uh, tab and from there you would buy Let's go, we're going to buy Ethereum because it's going to cost a heck of a lot less. Uh, I mean, it's going to cost less than a dollar, where Bitcoin, like I said, is costing 12 to $15 to send because the backlog in the memory pool is over 140,000 unconfirmed transactions. To, so to get your transaction confirmed, you'd have to spend a heck of a lot of money. Uh, whether it's 100 bucks or $10,000 right now, it is a lot of money to send Bitcoin. Uh, so it's becoming more and more of a storage of wealth until Lightning Network hopefully can solve some of these issues next year. Uh, so let's get on to the meat and potatoes. So once you buy uh, your Ethereum, you're then gonna go into say uh, your Bittrex account and say you wanted to uh, buy NEO. You're gonna type in ETH and then make sure you hit Ethereum. You can't send Ethereum Classic here to this. And from there, you're going to find your hex address. You're going to copy that, then go back to Coinbase and click the send button here. And you'll paste in that hex public key, which is your Ethereum deposit address on, say, Bittrex or Binance. Uh, but let's use Bittrex since it's one of the largest uh, exchanges right now. Uh, and in the United States, it's probably the most uh, well-used altcoin market exchanges. So once you paste in your Ethereum deposit address, you hit send, and in two to three minutes, it should be there. You can do the same thing on Gemini. It's a little bit m harder, not, not much at all. So uh, like I said, if you're looking to do larger dollar amounts, make sure you use Gemini. So once that deposit address uh, clears everything, you're gonna then go to the top left here and click the Bittrex icon, which is gonna load the different markets that you can trade Bitcoin pairs with, as well as Ethereum and then Tethers. So uh, let's just say we're going for NEO. Uh, you can type it in here and it'll pop up and you can see the Ethereum to NEO pair. You're gonna click it. Once your Ethereum hits in your Bittrex account, it'll show up here and then you're gonna see here what's going on uh, with the the chart action and you can see here from from yesterday uh, hitting a low of you know 6.061 to this morning hitting 0.07 so it made a nice neo made a nice move um, and then from there say you had one one ethereum uh, what you'll do is you can see here this is the order book uh, this is the bids which are the buys people looking to buy NEO using Ethereum, and these are the people looking to sell uh, NEO and get Ethereum. So, say I had one ETH and I wanted to get my order filled pretty quick, I could tick, click this top one, and you can see here there's a small spread. So, if you click the sell, you'll automatically get filled if, you're, if your order is less than, say, 228 uh, NEOs. Uh, but I like to get the best possible deal, and as you can see, price is moving a little bit. Uh, but I like to get the best possible deal, so I, I usually click this one. Or, you know, that's small, so it looks like it's going to come back to 0.069. So let's do that, for instance. And you can see that for almost a full ETH, I can get 14 NEOs. But the thing to remember with NEO is that it's not um, divisible by decimal points like uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum. So you need to use whole numbers. And Bittrex charges a 0 0.025 withdrawal fee, so you want to make sure you you just leave the leftover in Ethereum instead of NEO. So I would just buy 14.025, and you'll see this is gonna change a little bit. So I'm gonna now have you know, 0.03 Ethereum left. 
and from there you can you'll buy it and once it once the order is filled let me show you one other quick thing you can see the order book which you can do for any trading pair and that's going to show you where the pressure is uh, in regards to buying or selling action uh, for the order book so you can see here looks like there's a little bit more uh, buyers for NEO than sellers of uh, Ethereum so it doesn't, doesn't tell you too much because you can put up fake what they call buy walls or sell walls to try to influence the market so if, if you you know you're don't be influenced by the order book uh, unless you are really are an expert trader and have study uh, bids and ask spreads and, and buy walls and sell walls but it's interesting to look at because you can kind of see potentially where price is going to move uh, so, so let's say our order filled we'll go to wallets and I always do hide zero balances but right now there's nothing in this trading account because uh, I'm using Binance and from there your NEO will be listed here you should have 14.025 and you'll go to the neon wallet where you're going to grab your public key and then you hit minus and that withdraws money plus deposits whatever crypto that you send you'll paste your public key for uh, neo here and then you'll withdraw the 14.025 and you'll see that withdrawal fee t is taken out and you'll be left with 14 neos and it's very important to do that right away with with neo you don't want to leave it on the exchange uh, unless it's been on because you are not awarded with gas which is the dividend that you're paid for for owning a stake of neo coins so it's very important to right away get the neo off the exchange and get it onto your neon wallet um, okay on to the next topic which is going to be buying ethereum based ERC-20 tokens. So think EOS, uh, PPT, there's a host of other ones as well, uh, Metal. And the best way to really look at uh, Ethereum tokens is you can see here under etherscan.io, you click the token uh, link, and from there you can see, I forgot, Oh My's Go, uh, Augur, Golem. These are all projects that are and smart contracts that are written on the Ethereum blockchain. And so EOS is the largest one right now with a $4.5 billion market cap and it's just been growing uh, uh, greatly lately. So uh, the best thing to do is going to be to get your ledger, uh, put in your uh, pin, and then from there go to myetherwallet.com. There's gonna be a bunch of different warnings uh, just to make sure you're at the right site and make sure you know that uh, what you're doing and so you can read through that and then eventually you click uh, allow me in to uh, send and receive ether tokens or create new wallets and from there you'll click send ether and tokens and then go to the ledger wallet or Trezor if you have that uh, but we're doing ledger for this one and once you're in you're gonna double click the buttons on the bottom of the ledger device and that'll open up your Ethereum wallet. Now make sure you go to settings and then go to browser support and make sure you hit yes. If that is not no, you're only going to be able to use the Ledger Ethereum app and that only lets you look at Ethereum as well as Ethereum Classic. So once again, make sure you go to settings under your Ethereum uh, wallet app and go to browser support and hit yes. Once you have that on, you'll click connect ledger wallet. I always recommend using the first public key you see for your Ethereum as well as your tokens because it organizes everything nicely and then you can copy that public key address and put it into Etherscan to view your Ethereum and all the tokens you hold and you can see them organized nicely. If you'd like to separate it out you can also do that but then you're gonna have more Ethereum public key uh, deposit addresses to manage. Uh, so whatever really works for you. Then you click unlock wallet and then you'll see your account address over here on the right. You'll copy that and that's what you're going to do. Uh, so let's take it back one step actually and let's go to the exchange. Now we're on Binance. Say we deposited our Ethereum or Bitcoin here. Uh, once again Ethereum is going to be cheaper and you'll 
have that deposited here. Say you had some uh, ETH to buy EOS and that's what you were looking to do. You can see all the trading pairs here for Ethereum. There's a ton of different ones, so it's a very uh, diverse marketplace and Binance is only growing and the fees are less than Bittrex. So I, I like it and it's got a great UI as well. Uh, they also have a, a Windows dedicated um, software that you can use also for your purchases, but we're here on the, the web, web address using Chrome. Uh, so let's type in EOS, it'll organize it, we click it, and then from there the, you know, the current price for using Ethereum to buy EO, EOS will be here. And for instance, say we, say we had just bought uh, you know, 20 EOS and we wanted to withdraw that to our uh, Ledger Nano. You're going to go to Deposit and Withdrawals. And you'll see EOS here. And it'll show the balance that you just bought. And you'll click Withdraw. And then go back to My Ether Wallet. And you'll see your address here that we double click. You're going to copy that. And then go into the address box here. You'll paste that in click max, submit, you'll be asked for your two-factor authentication which hopefully you set up and then it'll also send an email to you to verify that you want to withdraw the EOS. And from there everything will be put on your Ledger, Ledger Nano and you can go down to load tokens here and all the tokens and all the ERC20 uh, coins that you buy will show up here. They're all managed under your Ethereum address because they're on the Ethereum blockchain and they're just uh, it's just a smart contract that was written in order to um, build these dApps, decentralized applications uh, and EOS right now is the biggest one so I figured it would be good to show you that one. One other quick thing before we go is on the Ledger Nano S there are only about four different uh, coins you can have installed at the same time these new coins now, ARC is a big one, Dash, uh, Komodo, Litecoin, Qtum, Stellar, Stratus, Ubik, etc. So all those are now supported on the ledger which is great but the only thing is you can only have a certain number of these apps installed at the same time. So what you'll have to do, and it feels a little weird, it feels like you're deleting your money but you're not because it's still stored here using uh, the ledger's private keys. You'll actually have to delete the application using the manager which is right here install the coin that you want to deposit to so it can manage all these coins but it can only have uh, four or five different coins installed at the same time I don't have many altcoins on this ledger so uh, it works for me uh, and it can just be a little uh, scary when you delete an app because you think you're going to delete your coins but you're not they're all still stored on here I tried it and my coins did show up so it's just a great tool to manage everything. The hardware wallet's gonna be the safest way to st store all your ERC20 tokens, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin, and NEO. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this show. Please click, click like and subscribe. If you would like a private session uh, where we do one-on-one -on -one training, feel free to send me a DM or visit my website at www.bitcoinsmartmoney.com. Hope everybody has a great rest of their week and good luck with your trades.